I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you're new to Siamese Mahjong, this is when you play two hands at one time with just one opponent. So the rules have been modified from the regular four player game. There's a link in the video description below if you want to learn more about it. In this video, we're going to do an exercise I call random pulls. The purpose of the exercise is to practice identifying the strength in two dealt hands. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We're going to alternate between player one, so we'll have 28 tiles, and player two, 27 tiles. We have jokers, almost news with a pair of E's. Red, green, white dragon, pair of greens. Two, three, four, five in cracks with a pung of fours. In dots, we have one, two, five, seven, nine singles. And in bams, we have one, two, four, six, seven, eight singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would try for like numbers with fours and dragons and a year hand with or without wins. So we have like numbers with fours, no gaps, a year hand of some kind, and eight discards. If I can come up with a plan where there are eight discards, I think that's a good use of the tiles, especially if there are minimal options. So here we have a hand and no gaps. This is one away from set, actually, because that's ready to go. Pung. We could Kong here, Pung here, or Kong there. We're one away from a a set hand. So I think that's a good plan there. One thing I was thinking is maybe we could do a quint with fours in east, but we have no flowers. That's a huge gap because that needs to be a quint. So I wouldn't think about doing a quint with wins and a number tile in this case. I think I would try for a year hand of some kind. We've got ones and twos. And there are a couple of hands that use wins with the year block, both under the year category and the wind and dragon category. So I would start by discarding those and build around these tiles. If you would do something different, write pull one and what you would do with these tiles. Here we have a pair, a pair of jokers. There's two jokers there. Northeast, pair of east, green and red dragon. In cracks, we have one, four, five, six, nine, pung of ones and fours and a pair of sixes. In bams, we have five, seven, eight, nine, pair of eights. And then in dots, we have one, three, six, eight, pair of threes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards?
This is a challenge. If these were my tiles, I would try to play a quint of some kind. There are two that are possible here. So let's just put these down here and start with this one. One, two, three, four. We have a gap and it's a pair gap, so it would be risky, but we could quint both of these numbers. All we need in here is a two. So that would be probably a long shot. So I think what I would do is focus on four, five, six quint, and this could be plan B if we get a two. This would be stronger if we get a two, but this would be stronger if we can build up that consecutive run. And then down here, we have leftover tiles that we would have to make work. I think what I would do is probably focus on eights because we have a multiple here. Probably start by discarding the one. We have eight, so I think I would hold maybe the nines and seven, eight, nine start by discarding those. There is a east and west with evens potential there. If we can get west, there's even some potential for the green dragon with like numbers. I think I would just hold these, build around the eight somehow, which is why I would keep those consecutive numbers, but really focus on the quint first. Try to make that big hand and start by discarding those. This was a challenging set of tiles. If you have any ideas what to do other than this plan, write it in the comment section below. Start it with pull two, so we know which pull. We have a couple of jokers, a flower, northwest with a pair of norse. We have one of each of the dragons. We have two, three, seven, nine with a pung of sevens. In That's in bams. In dots, we have one, three, four, six, eight, nine with pairs of threes and sixes. So dots there, then five, six, seven, nine crack, pair of nines in the cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would try for a three, six, nine pair hand. We have a lot of three, six, nine. If the pair hand doesn't come in, we could play any number of three, six, nine hands. And then I would leverage this pung of sevens with the wins for a quint. Go for two big hands. Six discards for this plan. I would keep the dragons because we could maybe play news concealed as a plan B if the quint doesn't come in. We could Kong that right away. We could even Quint the North, but I probably would just gather and see if we could build this up. We only have one flower and this needs to be a Quint. So I, I would probably just try to build up and stay concealed if possible, except for this. If that were to be discarded, I'd probably go ahead and Kong. So another thing that we could maybe do is keep the seven for like numbers with sevens and news as a plan B if either the quint or news concealed doesn't come in. So that takes us down to five discards. And then down here, of course, we have a potential pair hand. I would just gather 
and try to build up this pair hand, but there's good potential there. Another thing we could potentially do is the concealed 369 hand, 36, 369, or we could do 36, 36, or let's see, 36, 369, having that pair there for the concealed hand. So there's a few things you can do by just staying concealed and gather. If you would do something different with pull three, write that in the comment section below. When you're making a plan for your hands, try to use the tile so that you have eight discards or less. That's the guideline I use to determine if I have a good plan for the use of most of my tiles. If you have lots of options, reassess. Sometimes with all those tiles, you could even pick a hand from the beginning, but try to have minimal options and eight discards or less. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.